Good day grade 12s. My name is Aiden from the Distinction Bound Student and I'd like to welcome you to a lesson on possible essays. As you can see we have a total of 25 possible essays and they are distributed across our four modules, namely macroeconomics, economic pursuits, microeconomics and lastly contemporary economic issues of the day. In this particular lesson we are only going to explore these possible essays and this one will be the first video on the playlist. Now the big question is, should you study all 25 essays? Well good news is that you don't have to. For paper 1, I recommend macroeconomics and for paper 2 I recommend microeconomics. I'm not saying follow my recommendation. If you prefer economic pursuits and contemporary, then go for that. Now let me show you the essays from 1 to 25. The next 25 videos on this playlist will address each of the 25 in depth. Let's explore macroeconomics essays. Under Circular Flow Possible Essays we have one essay and it goes as follows. Essay 1. Discuss in detail the markets within the four-sector model. A. Factor markets, labor, resource, capital. B. Product markets, consumer and capital goods, durable. Semi-durable and non-durable. C. Financial, monetary and capital. D. Foreign exchange market. Link the operation of financial and foreign exchange markets to the participants of the circular flow. 26 marks. Under business cycles we have two essays which on our list are essays 3 and 4. 2. Discuss in detail the new economic paradigm. Explain the smoothing of cycles. A. Explain demand-side policies. Explain clearly how monetary and fiscal policies, expansionary and contractionary, can be used in smoothing out business cycles. Relate to inflation, peak, and unemployment, trough, by using the Phillips curve. B. Explain supply-side policies and how aggregate supply can be stimulated through Reduction in costs Improving efficiency in inputs Improving efficiency in markets Essay 3. Discuss in detail the features underpinning forecasting A. Indicators, leading Coincidence Lagging Composite B. Length of a cycle C. Amplitude D. The trend line E. Extrapolation F. Moving averages under public sector we have two possible essays which on our list are essays 4 and 5. Essay 4. Discuss in detail the main objectives of the public sector in the economy. A. Economic growth. B. Full employment. C. Exchange rate stability. D. Price stability. E. Economic equity. 5. Discuss in detail the reasons for public sector failure, link them to typical problems experienced through public sector provisioning. A. Management failure. B. Apathy. C. Lack of motivation. D. Bureaucracy. A. Politicians. F. Structural weaknesses. G. Special interest groups. Lastly under international trade we have one possible essay and it's the sixth one on our list. Essay 6. Discuss in detail the reasons for international trade. A. Demand reasons. Size of population. Income levels. Change in the wealth of the population. Preferences and taste. The difference in consumption patterns. Absolute and comparative advantage. B. Supply reasons. Natural resources. Climatic conditions. Labor resources. Technological resources. Specialization. Capital. That's it with macroeconomics. Next module is economics pursuits. First topic is protectionism and free trade possible which has two essays and on our list they are essays 7 and 8. Essay 7. Discuss in detail export promotion. A. Definition. B. Methods. C. Reasons or advantages. D. Disadvantage. Essay 8. Discuss in detail the arguments in favor of protectionism. A. Industrial development. B. Infant industries. C. Stable wage levels and high standard of living. D. Increased employment. C. Self-sufficiency and strategic industries. D. Prevention of dumping. E. Stable exchange rates and balance of payment. F. Protection of natural resources. Under economic growth and development we have two possible essays and on our list F25 they are essays 9 and 10. Essay number 9. Discuss in detail the demand-side approach in promoting growth and development in South Africa. A. Give an overview of the demand-side approach, the monetary policy, interest rate changes, open market transactions, moral suasion. The fiscal policy, progressive personal income tax, wealth tax, cash benefits, natural benefits, other redistribution, land restitution and redistribution, subsidies on property. Essay number 10. 
Discuss in detail the following South African growth and development policies and strategic initiatives. A. Reconstruction and Development Policy, RDP. B. Growth, Employment and Redistribution Program, GEAR. C. National Skills Development Strategy, NSDS. D. Accelerated and Shared Growth Initiative for South Africa, ASGISA. E. Joint Initiative on Priority Skills Acquisition, GIPSA. F. Expanded Public Works Program, EPWP. G. The New Growth Path, NGP. H. National Development Plan, NDP. I. Small Business Development Promotion Program. J. Black Economic Empowerment Programs. Under Industrial Development Policies we have one possible essay. Essay number 11. Discuss in detail South Africa's initiatives, endeavors, in regional development. A. Spatial Development Initiatives, SDIs. B. Corridors. C. Industrial Development Zones, IDZs. D. Special Economic Zones, SEZs. Under Economic and Social Performance Indicators we have two possible essays and they are 12th and 13th on our list. Essay number 12. Discuss in detail the following economic indicators. A. Production Indicators, Namuno GDP, Rare GDP, Per Capito GDP. B. Inflation Rate Indicators, Production Prices, PPI, Consumer Prices, CPI. C. Foreign Trade Indicators, Terms of Trade, the Exchange Rate, Employment Indicators, Economically Active Population, EAP, Employment Rate, Unemployment Rate. D. Productivity Indicators, Labor Productivity, Ramunaratium Parburque. C. Interest Rate Indicators, Repo Rate. D. Money Supply Indicators, M1, M2, M3. SA Number 13. Discuss in detail the following social indicators. A. Demographic Indicators, Population Growth, Life Expectancy. B. Nutrition and Health Indicators, Nutrition, Malnutrition, Obesity, A Health, Child Mortality, Under 5 Mortality, Spending on Health, Access to Clean Water, Access to Sanitation, Education, Percentage Public Sector Spending, Percentage Enrollment in Secondary Schools, Services, Electricity, Refuse Slash Garbage Removal, Water Supply, Sanitation. E. Housing and Urbanization. Housing, number of houses completed, urbanization, natural growth in population, migration, founding of new towns. Paper 2 Possible Essays We will start with microeconomics. Under Dynamics of Perfect Markets we have one possible essay and it's the 14th on our list. Essay number 14. Examine in detail the various equilibrium positions with the aid of graphs. Explain economic profit, economic loss, normal profit with the aid of graphs, short run, explain normal profit with the aid of a graph, long run, explain shutdown point using costs and revenue, FC, VC, TC, TR, and explain graphically, AR and AVC. Under dynamics of imperfect markets we have three possible essays and they are 15th, 16th and 17th on our list. Essay number 15. Discuss the monopoly in detail, with slash without the aid of graphs, concept, characteristics, economic profit, economic loss, short run, economic profit, long run. Essay number 16. Examine the oligopoly in detail, concept, characteristics, kink demand curve. Essay number 17. Compare and contrast any two types of market structures, perfect to imperfect slash imperfect to imperfect, in detail in terms of the following. Number of businesses, nature of product, entrance, control over prices, information, examples, demand curve, economic profit slash loss, decision making, collusion, productive slash technical efficiency, allocative efficiency. Under market failure we have two possible essays and they are 18th and 19th on our list. Essay number 18. Discuss in detail how the following factors leading to the misallocation of resources in the market. Externalities, missing markets, imperfect competition, lack of information, immobility of factors of production, imperfect distribution of income and wealth. Essay number 19. Discuss in detail state intervention as a consequence of market failures, with the aid of relevant graphs. Direct control, imperfect markets, minimum wages, maximum prices, minimum prices, taxes and subsidies, subsidies on goods and services, redistribution of wealth, government involvement in production. Now let's look at essays under contemporary economic issues of the day essays. Inflation possible essays. Essay number 20. 
Discuss in detail the consequences of inflation under the following headings, debtors slash creditors. Wage and salary earners, investors and savers, taxpayers, industrial stability. Unemployment slash poverty, balance of payments problems, psychological influence. SA 21. Discuss in detail the measures to combat demand pull and or cost push inflation, monetary policy. Fiscal policy, other measures. Under tourism we have two possible essays and they are 22nd and 23rd on our list. Essay number 22. Examine in detail the effects of tourism GDP, employment, poverty, externalities, environment, investment. Essay number 23. Examine in detail the benefits of tourism. Households, businesses, state, infrastructure development. Under environmental sustainability we have possible essays and they are 24th and 25th on our list. Essay number 24. Discuss in detail how the government can ensure sustainable development under the following headings. Grant property rights, pay for environmental use, levy environmental tax, pay environmental subsidies, issue marketable permits, command and control, voluntary agreements, education. Essay number 25. Discuss in detail the following problems and the international measures taken to ensure sustainable development under the following headings. Biodiversity, chemical waste, hazardous waste, climate change policy, adaptation and mitigation, indigenous knowledge. So there you have it. I'm sure now you understand why I say you I highly recommend macroeconomics for paper 1 and microeconomics for paper 2. The topics under economic pursuits and contemporary economic issues are more difficult. Another thing is economic pursuits has seven possible essays. Rather study those six for macro. Maybe that's just me. Let us know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel. We are also giving away the Distinction Bound Student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books. At the moment we have the following textbooks, Economics Grade 10, 11 and 12 plus Business Studies Grades 11 and 12. We are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog. Remember our books come in two versions, Complete and No Answers versions. Complete versions have answers and No Answers versions do not. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless.